Okay guys, welcome back. So as I mentioned in the last video, I'll be using uh, the kinetic theory of the equation, the general equation that I uh, that I taught you in the kinetic theory of gases of the KTG, and I will be deriving a relationship for the uh, kinetic energy of this gas, right? Kinetic energy of a gas, uh, the, uh, for an ideal gas, uh, for any gas, right? Especially for ideal gases. But for most problems, we assume that real gases are um, almost equal to ideal gases. So I'll derive it for a gas. So how we can derive using this right? So from this equation. So let's find out as to how we can derive that. So what we know is PV equals one upon three n times m times c squared bar. Right? PV equals one upon three times n times m times c squared bar. So that is the equation that will that we know, right? So if I take one mole of this gas, if I take one mole of the gas, so n equals one, n equals one, what I can say, right? If I take one mole of this gas, what I can say is so if PV equals one upon three n m c squared bar, so this is for an ideal gas. So for an, for ideal gases, I can also say PV equals n R T, right? PV equals n R T. So for one mole of this gas. We can say PV equals R T, right? For one mole of this gas, I can say PV equals R T. So what I can say is that for one mole of this gas, so PV equals R T. So for this equation, I'll substitute the value I got here, PV equals R T to here. So that will be R T equals one upon three times. So n I have already taken, right? PV I found this to be R T when n equals one. So I have already taken n equals one. So this will be one times m times c squared bar will be m c squared bar. So that will be one upon three times m c squared bar because n is equal to one. So I can say c squared bar is equal to three R T by n, right? So this also another important relationship, but this is not our intention. Right? This is another important relationship. C squared bar equals three R T by m. Also, what you can say is that uh, if you take uh, n equals n l, right? n sorry n equals n by l, n equals n by l. You can say right for n equals n by l. What you can say is that when n equals one, when n equals one mole, n is equal to l. Right? N is equal to l. So what I can say is that R T is also equal to R T is also equal to one upon three times n a times m times c squared bar because the value of m is for one. Uh, for one molecule, right? So one molecule or for one mole, right? For one mole. So for n number of moles, so for n number of particles, this will be Na times m times c squared bar. Alright. So it will be one upon three times Na times m c squared bar equals R T. So what I will do here is that uh, I can say uh, that uh, you know that the kinetic energy kinetic energy is half times m c squared bar so m c squared bar is already here m c squared bar is already here so what i do is kinetic energy i will divide this by 3 and multiply it by 3 so that will be 3 times 1 upon 3 times half times m c squared bar so i will take the kinetic energy to be e e is uh, three times uh, three times one upon three times uh, no 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 I, I'll take I'll take it directly right I'll take it directly k equals half m c squared bar so what I'll do is that uh, in order to create half I'll divide both sides by two right so half times r t equals one upon three times n a times half m c squared bar so half m c squared bar is e k e so i'll take it as e right the kinetic energy is e 
So this is E. So I can cross multiply here and divide by here. So this will be 3 times RT by 2 equals NA times E. NA times E. So E is equal to E is equal to 3 times RT divided by 2 times NA. So this is the equation that I was looking for and this is the equation. So this is the second equation. Second equation of this video. First equation we found the relationship between the molar mass of this gas and the square of the, the square uh, c square bar, right? The mean square density, sorry, mean square velocity of this gas. So that was the first equation we got from the from this video. And the second equation we got is the relationship between E, R, T, and N. Right. Now, now, what is the importance of this equation? All right. So. Uh, as I mentioned in the first part of this video, uh, my actual intention was the first intention intention was to find or the first goal was to find a value for e or the value for ke. So this is the kinetic energy, right? Kinetic energy equals three times the universal gas constant times the absolute temperature divided by two times the number of molecules or number of atoms of this gas. So if the uh, gas is a uh, unimol uni atomic, it will be atoms, and by atomic it will be molecules or something like that. So E equals three R T by two N. So for a gas, you know, for any gas, R is a constant, and for some gas, N A will be a constant if you give the mass constant and if you give the number of molecules constant, right? So if you give the mass constant, the number of molecules will be constant because Avogadro's constant is also a constant. So N if N M is a constant, N is a constant. So N if N is a constant, capital N will be a constant. So if you keep the mass of this gas constant, R will be a constant. So 3 times, I, I can also write this as e equals, e equals 3 times r divided by 2 in a times t e equals 3 times r divided by 2 in a times t. So if n a is a constant, if you keep the mass constant, you can keep n a constant. So if n a is a constant, 3 r by 2 n a is a constant. So e equals k t. So equal if e equals k times t, so you know as this is <coughs> excuse me, this is very similar to Charles law, in which the volume of the gas is equal to a constant times its absolute temperature. So what you can get here is that as I mentioned in Charles law, if you get an equal sign times a constant, you can remove that with a directly proportional. So if e equals k times t, you can say e is directly proportional to t. Uh, another important relation is directly proportional to now we have also proved a hypothesis right a hypothesis of the KTG the kinetic theory of gases in which it says that when the temperature of a gas increases the kinetic energy of a gas increases so if E is directly proportional to T we can get the E is directly proportional to T here so if E is directly proportional to T when the temperature increases when the temperature increases the value of E increases so E is the kinetic energy of the gas so E increases. So since the mass is a constant, you can say when E increases, the value of C squared bar or the uh, square mean velocity of the gas also square mean speed of this gas also increases. So the temperature is the factor that is the constant that will be using here. All right. So when the temperature increases, the value of E increases and also the value of C squared bar increases. So in the next video, I'll be explaining you a simple example uh, of the application of these two equations that we just found in this video. See you then.